So, bro, I'm over here chilling, going through YouTube, right? And I see this video that says 11 optical illusions that will trick your eyes. I don't know about y'all, but you can't trick my eyes, bro. Like, ain't nobody about to tell me my eyes lying. So, I'm about to get on this thing, right? And I'm about to get every one of these right. And I put that on me. You dig it? They say seeing is believing or not. Get ready Good for trip. 11 optical illusions that will trick your eyes. All right, that's what they say. You feel me? I ain't going for it, though. Those who create optical illusions use combinations of colors, lights, or particular patterns that can really trick the brain. So get ready to check your visual perception with this fun challenge. And don't forget to click the subscribe no. button and turn on notifications no. to join us on the bright side no. of life. Y'all got enough subscribers. Hey, subscribe to me. I ain't the got that many. The first one is creepy. Bet. This is a famous drawing created in 1892 by Charles Allen Gilbert called All is Vanity. And depending on what you see first, it can come off as a little creepy. Most people who look at it don't even realize that the drawing is much more than it seems. It's a skull and two girls. Anything unusual about this picture? It's you two. Have ten it's, seconds to figure it out. Hey, Pete, this, Pete, this, Pete, this. It's a girl looking in the mirror, right? And she, she looking in the mirror and she see a skull. You dig it? Well, it look like a skull because she looking in the mirror and it's like shape. You dig it? Yeah. All that. Uh huh. Who's yeah. Who look at the drawing? Why Notice that? either a woman sitting in front of the vanity mirror mm -hmm. or a spooky looking skull. Period. Period. If you've managed to spot both of them Period. right away, congratulations. Your visual perception is pretty impressive. All right, here are hidden faces. Mm -hmm. Here's another challenging image where you have to find something that's hidden right in plain sight. They in the trees. Now at first I mean, in glance, the tree. it might look right way there, too nigga. easy. Yeah, yeah. After all, everybody can clearly see at least four faces in the tree branches. It's a lot of But like any optical illusion, there's a catch. See how many more faces you can spot in the next 10 seconds. I see nine, bro. If you found 10 faces hidden among the branches, then you're an extremely observant individual. Some say that these faces are actually those of famous public figures. Can you recognize anybody? I counted as Share a W. Share your ideas in the comments below. I counted as a W, bro. I see nine. A fair lady. This gorgeous lady must be a ballerina. Otherwise, how does she keep rotating like that with that much grace? Uh, like on her toes? But we're not here to discuss her artistic skills. Instead, can you tell if she is moving in one or two directions? But she moving in one direction, bro. It's just weird. Because it's stupid. So, what do you think? Left, right, both. Um, the correct answer is she is moving in the right direction. Bro, you said one or two, though. You didn't say left or right. Cafe wall you illusion. see what I'm saying? The name of this illusion was inspired by a tiled wall of a cafe in Bristol. Like Starbucks? Hey, that's where I am right now. But I will tell you no, no more Bristol. for now. Can you tell if the dark lines are parallel to each other or inclined? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. They parallel, bro. It's just the background, like, you know what I'm saying, making it look slanted. It's really parallel, though. Watch this. I bet I get it right. Again, it seemed like an easy question. The lines are so obviously inclined. Nope. It turns out that they're not. Let us blur the image quite a bit more now that all the small elements are completely blurred you can see the dark blue lines are actually parallel to each other well that's not fair this phenomenon is known as the cafe wall illusion it was first described more than a hundred years ago but got its name only in the 1970s when a guy named too Steve easy. Simpson noticed a similar effect on the wall of a cafe in bristol little black and white bricks at the intersection of wide lines make this illusion possible 
Curved elements inside the blue lines only make this effect stronger. The reason we see this distortion is that our retinal neurons and neurons in the visual cortex work together in quite a peculiar way. I knew that. Oh, what he just said. Period. Number five, the impossible triangle. Mm -hmm, that's what they say. That's what they say. Meet mm -hmm. the impossible triangle. Mm -hmm. But wait, what makes it so impossible, mm -hmm. you say? <laughs> you have 10 seconds to figure it out before you hear the explanation. What? What? Because all sides don't meet right. I don't fucking know. Like, what you mean? The impossible triangle, known as Penrose Triangle, is so called because it can never exist in reality. If it did exist, it would be absolutely contrary to the rules of Euclidean geometry. What is so wrong with this figure? Well, if you follow really? the ball sliding on the surface of the triangle from the top point, you will see that the left side is extending away and the right side is leaning towards you. However, they both seem to be on the same plane. Only an optical illusion makes it seemingly possible to the human eye. Really, bro? Now, that was stupid. Y'all can't even count. That was stupid. Okay, this one seems pretty plain. There is a bicycle and it's moving. Still, there is something wrong here. Something mysterious. Can you figure out what the trick is? You have 10 seconds to do so. Bro, the tires aren't really moving. You feel me? Like, it's, it's computer generated. Like, what you, what, what, what else makes you... makes the bicycle move? Obviously, the fact that the spokes in its wheels are rotating. Nah, it can't be that easy when it comes to optical illusions. In fact, the spokes remain in place. And the colors that fill the wheels, those 50 shades of gray, that keeps changing. This illusory motion effect is created thanks to small, quick eye movements. Scientists are still working on figuring out how this phenomenon works to understand the perception of motion better. Hey, this is stupid. Ain't this what I said, though? But, like, this is stupid. We're not watching this shit no more, man. This shit retarded. You feel me? Like, no cap. All this is stupid. This don't claim. You feel me? Like... Am I the smartest person y'all know though? We better we better read the comments. What the comments? Sorry, but my art my eyes aren't triggered at all. And now the Rubik's Cube, it looks like something familiar, but what is it? Exactly, bro. They was asking stupid questions, like for real. Do not tap to read more. Okay, I won't. Bright side, what to make a video on? <laughs> no cap, bro. Why everybody saying don't go down, bro? This one I'll read comments. Anyways, that's really it, bro. Like that video was really stupid, a waste of time. Like, can y'all comment some stuff to react to, bro? Cause like that jump was trash. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.